Hello everyone, we already know that an element is a substance that is made entirely from one type of atom and there are so many elements. So how to represent atoms of different elements? After revolution throughout the Europe, scientific studies picked up pace and many new elements were discovered. More elements means more combination which means more compounds. Scientists had to find an easy way to denote combination of different atoms in those enormous number of compounds. So they turned to symbols. An element would be denoted with a symbol. Different symbols of element can be combined to show ratio of different elements in a compound. So it was a logical approach. John Brazilius suggested to use first letter of English name of an element written in capital letter should be used as its symbol like H for hydrogen, O for oxygen, P for phosphorus, C for carbon etc. Now the names of many elements start with the same letter like carbon, calcium, chlorine etc. In such cases two letters from the name is used as the symbol. For example, Ca for calcium, He for helium, etc. The first letter is written in capital and the second letter is written in lower case. Now, the symbols of all elements are not taken from English name. Instead, they are taken from their name in Latin, German or Greek. For example, the Latin name of sodium is natrium and its symbol became Na. The Latin name of silver is argentum so its symbol is Ag. Also, the Latin name of potassium is calium so the symbol is K. And for iron, the name is ferrum and its symbol is Fe. You know, in the beginning, the names of elements were derived from the name of the place where they were found for the first time. For example, the name copper was taken from Cyprus. The Roman Empire obtained most of its copper from the island of Cyprus, which is where copper's name originated. The Latin name of copper is cuprum and the symbol of copper is Cu. So that was all about atom right now. Take care. Bye-bye.